Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. So, back here working at the garage, and if you're wondering, Steve, it looks really bright in there. Did you get your electric hooked up and all your lights in? No, the lights are still not in. However, uh, with the days cut it, getting cut shorter, uh, we're losing our daylight. It gets pretty dark in here pretty quick. I went out and purchased myself this LED light uh, made by Husky, um, just trying to you know, figure out ways to kind of keep this workflow moving, uh, regardless if I can see or not. I was trying to run this electric line. If you guys remember from that previous video here, uh, the morning we had a rain delay. Uh, it was really, really dark. I was having a hard time seeing. I was using my cell phone flashlight for a lot of it. Um, so I figured it was time to invest into something like that. Get myself a nice light. Now, if you're wondering what today's video is, uh, I am all set up and I am wanting to kind of get rolling. So a lot of this is going to be some voiceover. Uh, a couple things I do want to kind of stop and point out um, as I'm going along, but we are doing soffit and fascia. I got my miter saw set up here. I got the brake set up over there. I got soffit here. I got aluminum trim coil there. So we are all set up and ready to go. I'm going to get my miter saw set up and uh, I'll show you guys what we have going on. Okay, so first thing what we need to do is come up our uh, OSHA approved leaning ladder here. Obviously everything I do is OSHA approved, so don't worry, this is completely safe. And measure our overhang. So you want, I'm using F channel for this. So put your tape measure in there. We want about six and we'll go six and five eighths. Uh, we'll have a little bit of room there to kind of wiggle our uh, sockets whenever we cut them. Uh, so honestly, I just kind of want to get a lot of these cut up so that whenever I get, when I am ready, uh, I can just kind of start throwing them up. Uh, we'll get some six and five eighths soffits cut. Then we'll get our F channel uh, set up and some additional framing blocking nailed in and uh yeah we're ready to go a lot of stuff going through my head right now so sorry Mark there. Now I don't have to measure every single piece. Okay, so now that we have a bunch of our six and five eighths inch soffits cut, we're gonna get over here, walk past our brake, and hand the camera off to someone, just so I can get some measurements here. Yes, this is shorter than this overhang, being our return. Good. Can you come over here? Terrible, terrible. Uh, so on our, uh, we'll go an inch extra. That way we can kind of. Okay. Okay. Cheese. You gonna wave? Eight inches. You gonna dance? You gonna do anything? Clamp that down. Take it. Score your metal. Pull your brake up. Now 
Now we are bending this in a 90. This is the side that you will see on that return of the overhang. You'll see this part on the bottom. Your soffits will sit right on top of here after you nail them to your overhang. And like I said, you do this little return here. That way it's a nice clean edge. It's not sharp and it looks good. So now I need to do some layout to kind of cut in uh, some other stuff. And uh, I'll show you guys that. So I had to shift some things around. Brought my light out front here so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I ended up changing this corner up. And I'll show you this again tomorrow. Um, but this corner is now all one piece. Uh, it took me a couple tries. But I got this corner all bent up. Uh, all the overhang is a half inch underneath uh, where I need it to be. Uh, now that I got that up, I got this piece of fascia up. Uh, I got my F channel up right here. Um, this way the soffit pieces sit right in there. I can go ahead and get a nail right here and another one right there provided they're not going to break. Uh, now one thing, <clears throat> sorry, I wanted to point out is that, oh shadows, um, I wanted this little tab up here, that way it kind of acted as some flashing, uh, just a little bit of protection from water. Um, whenever I run my soffit, the next piece of fascia will go on right here and come down here and I'll have to end this some, somewhere here. And again, it's dark, I apologize. Um, but I just wanted to make sure this corner was gonna be watertight. So I'll set the camera up and uh, start putting the soffits up. Okay, so there is the first gable, I think this is what this side is called. Uh, it, I have my F channel up here, as you saw, the soffits interlock into there, and then the soffits all interlock together. Um, so then it looks really nice and kind, not necessarily seamless, but you know, you can't really tell where one piece starts and the other piece ends. Now tomorrow, whenever I have some some daylight here we'll take this is a scra uh, scrap piece of uh, fascia see how this is kind of hanging down a little bit so tomorrow when I put the next piece of fascia up it'll pull that soffit right up and it will look all nice and straight right like that and I, again I'll show you this in the daylight but yeah so this side's coming together really nice I am going to go ahead, call that a night, because I can barely see, and I'm scared of heights, and uh, yeah, this is fun, I'm enjoying this. I don't think I'd enjoy doing this as a profession, but in my own house, so far I'm enjoying this. Okay, so here we are back at it the next, mo the next day, actually, I uh, had a short day because of the rain, looks like we might have some more rolling in, but that's alright. Uh, this is what I was trying to show you guys last night. This corner is now all in one piece. That way when I run this side, I have about an inch and a half of overhang there that this piece of fascia board will run right to this edge. It'll look real nice, it'll blend right in. You won't even know it's there. So now we're gonna get some fascia bent up for this side and get uh, maybe a piece or two run up here. And then I'd like to start hanging my F channel here down this side so I can get going on this soffit and fascia uh, i'm holding off on this stretch here until i get this roof patched in uh, my buddy is gonna my buddy eric's gonna come up and help me out with that uh, he's a really good roofer so uh, i'm gonna let him kind of direct me on how i need to do that the best way to do it and uh yeah so we're gonna get stuff set up for this side as well as this side
Okay, so there's that first piece hung up. I wanted to keep it a little bit shorter so I could uh, work with it while being on uh, two different size ladders. I uh, had to make a couple marks and uh, make one cut so that the end rolled in real nice to that corner. You know, for being a concrete guy, I think that looks pretty, pretty decent. Uh, anybody that does soffit and fascia for a living, if you're watching, let me know what I could do differently to uh, improve this sort of stuff. Um, now, I do want to get some white exterior trim nails and put a couple on this lower section here. I took a couple exterior trim nails, tucked them up underneath the drip edge there. A little bit of white caulking, you'll never even know they're there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, jump over to the side and start running my F channel. Okay, so now that all of this F channel is run nice and straight, sorry, a couple cars. Jeez. Uh, we can go ahead and start cutting just a bunch of bunch more soffit. Now on the front we have about a six and a half inch overhang. On the sides we have 10 and three quarter inch overhangs. Uh, it's actually closer to 11, but I'm gonna cut all my soffits at 10 and three quarter inch. That way it'll fit nice up there. I'll have a little bit of wiggle room, so get going. Okay, so there it is. The long run of soffits are up and on. Uh, as you guys just saw, I put the F channel on first, leveled it, and then as I was working it, because it's plastic, it's a little flimsy, I was just using my level to make sure each point was set and level so these soffits look really nice because the road is right there. And whenever I'm driving down this hill, I'm gonna be looking at that. So I wanna make sure that looks as nice as possible. And yes, this bush, We'll be going here shortly. Uh, I'm gonna jump into the garage. This battery's almost dead. So I'm gonna throw the charger on it. Try to get a couple pieces of fascia bent and put up, um, but I am starting to lose some daylight. So we'll see where we're at after I'm done doing that.
Okay, so once again, we are ending this video in the dark. Um, luckily, uh, last week I picked up this nice light from Husky uh, out at Home Depot when I was there. A little bit, of a little bit of an impulse buy, but it's already, it's already paying for itself right now. So, uh, as you can see, I got all of the soffits run on this long side, and I got three eight-foot sections of fascia run down. Uh, it ends right about where my ladder is, so I think I have, oh, probably another 16 feet or so to go. So a couple more pieces bent up and nailed up tomorrow, and that'll be a wrap on this side. Uh, now the reason I'm trying to get all this done is once I get the soffit and fascia done, then uh, we can go ahead and plastic off this big opening here, and I can cut off that there's a car. Um, I can cut off that overhang so I can finish my framing. I can finish running my wire. I need to cut into the drywall and the ceiling just in a small section of my house so I can pull wire to the breaker box. Um, but doing the soffit and fascia and plasticking the front door off, uh, basically what that's going to do is it's going to make sure there's not going to be any bugs or uh, mice or birds or anything that get in to the garage while I'm doing that. Uh, so that's the plan, and I'm probably just going to end this video here because I feel like it's probably getting a little lengthy. So uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning back in to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. I know the majority of these videos this year have been me working on this and building this, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to cut out some time to get up to the gun range because I really need uh, a break and uh, just kind of go up there and blow off some steam. So uh, yeah, we're, we're working on a little bit of everything here. Uh, just again, cannot thank you guys enough for the support you have given me, not only on this channel, but also our store on Etsy. Uh, you know, we're selling t-shirts and hoodies and uh, coffee cups are, are always great in my opinion. Uh, I've run mine through the dishwasher probably 50 or 60 times now and that graphic is still on there. It's not coming off. It's, uh, I don't know how they do that, but it's, it's on there permanently. <laughs> Um, but seriously, thank you guys so much. I really did not thank this channel uh, Not that this channel is crazy crazy successful, but the fact that I am generating a couple bucks on every video It's it's more than I could have ever imagined. So once again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys for the continued support uh, I am gonna go in get cleaned up and uh, Go to bed. So thank you guys. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks